Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. So I'm gonna read you a story today. So before we read our story, let's get ourselves ready. Let's take a big deep breath. <sighs> Listen ears on. So I'm gonna read you a story today by one of my favorite authors. His name is Roald Dahl, and I think you've read a couple of stories of his before. So the story I'm gonna read you today is one of the first Roald Dahl books that I remember having when I was in school and it's called The Enormous Crocodile. You might have heard it before, but I'm sure you can listen again. In the biggest, brownest, muddiest river in Africa, two crocodiles lay with their heads just above the water. One of the crocodiles was enormous. The other was not so big. Do you know what I would like for my lunch today? The enormous crocodile asked. No, the not so big one said. What? The enormous crocodile grinned, showing hundreds of sharp white teeth. For my lunch today, he said, I would like a nice, juicy little child. I never eat children, the not so big one said. Only fish. Ho, 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 cried the enormous crocodile. I'll bet if you saw a fat, juicy little child paddling in the water over there at this very moment, You'd cup him up in one gallop. No, I wouldn't, the not-so-big one said. Children are too tough and chewy. They are tough and chewy and nasty and bitter. Tough and chewy, cried the enormous crocodile. Nasty and bitter? What awful tummy rot you talk. They are juicy and yummy. They taste so bitter, the not-so-big one said. You have to cover them with sugar before you can eat them. Children are bigger than fish, said the enormous crocodile. You get bigger helpings. You are greedy, the not so big one said. You are the greediest croc in the whole river. I'm the bravest croc in the whole river, said the enormous crocodile. I'm the only one who dares to leave the water and go through the jungle to the town to look for little children to eat. You've only done that once, snorted the not-so-big one. And what happened then? They all saw you coming and ran away. Ah, but today when I go, they won't see me at all, said the enormous crocodile. Of course they'll see you, the not-so-big one said. You're so enormous and ugly, they'll see you from miles away. The enormous crocodile grinned again and his terrible sharp teeth sparkled like knives in the sun. Nobody will see me, he said, because this time I've thought up secret plans and clever tricks. Clever tricks, cried the not-so-big one. You've never done anything clever in your life. You're the stupidest croc on the whole river. I'm the cleverest croc on the whole river, the enormous crocodile answered. For my lunch today, I shall feast upon a fat, juicy child while you lie here in the river feeling hungry. Goodbye. The enormous crocodile swam to the side of the river, crawled out of the water. A gigantic creature was standing in the slimy, oozy mud on the riverbank. It was Humpy Rumpy, the hippopotamus. Hello, hello, said Humpy Rumpy. Where on earth are you off to at this time of day? I have secret plans and clever tricks, said the crocodile. Oh dear, said Humpy Rumpy. I'll bet you're going to do something horrid. The enormous crocodile grinned at Humpy Rumpy and said, I'm going to fill my hungry, empty tummy with something yummy, yummy, yummy. What's so yummy? asked Humpy Rumpy. Try to guess, said the crocodile. It's something that walks on two legs. You don't mean, said Humpy Rumpy. You don't really mean you're going to eat a little child. Of course I am, said the crocodile. Oh, you horrid, greedy, grumptious brute, cried Humpy Rumpy. I hope you get caught and cooked and turned into crocodile soup. The enormous crocodile laughed out loud at Humpy Rumpy. Then he waddled off into the jungle. Inside the jungle, he met Trunky the elephant. Trunky was nibbling leaves from the top of a tall tree. He didn't notice the crocodile at first, so the crocodile bit him on the leg. Ow, said Trunky in his big, deep voice. Who did that? Oh, it's you, is it, you beastly crocodile? Why don't you go back to the big brown muddy river where you belong? 
I have secret plans and clever tricks, said the crocodile. You mean you've nasty plans and nasty tricks, said Trunky. You've never done a nice thing in your life. The enormous crocodile grinned up at Trunky and said, I'm off to find a yummy child for lunch. Keep listening and you'll hear the bones go crunch. <gasps> you wicked beastly beast, cried Trunky. Oh, you foul and filthy fiend. I hope you get squashed and squished and squizzled and boiled up into crocodile stew. The enormous crocodile laughed out loud, disappeared into the thick jungle. A bit further on, he met Mugglewump the monkey. Mugglewump was sitting in a tree eating nuts. Hello, Crocky, said Mugglewump. What are you up to now? I have secret plans and clever tricks, said the crocodile. Would you like some nuts? asked Mugglewump. I have better things to eat than nuts, said the, sniffed the crocodile. I didn't think there was anything better than nuts, said Mugglewump. Aha, said the enormous crocodile. The sort of things I'm going to eat have fingers, toenails, arms and legs and feet. Mugglewump went pale and began to shake all over. You aren't really going to gobble up a little child, are you? He said. Of course I am, said the crocodile. Clothes and all. They taste better with the clothes on. Oh, you horrid hoggish crock, cried Mugglewump. You slimy creature, I hope the buttons and buckles all stick in your throat and choke you to death. The crocodile grinned up at Mugglewump and said, I eat monkeys too. Quick as a flash, with one bite of his huge jaws, he bit through the tree that Mugglewump was sitting in and down it came. But just in time, Mugglewump jumped into the next tree and swung away through the branches. A bit further on, the enormous crocodile met Roly Poly Bird. The Roly Poly Bird was building a nest in an orange tree. Hello there, enormous crocodile, sang Roly Poly Bird. We don't often see you up here in the jungle. Ah, said the crocodile, I have secret plans and clever tricks. I hope it's not something nasty, sang the Roly Poly Bird. Nasty, cried the crocodile. Of course it's not nasty. It's delicious. It's luscious, it's super, it's mushous, it's duper, it's better than rotten old fish. You mash it and munch it, you chew it and crunch it, it's lovely to hear it go squish. Must be berries, sang Roly Poly Bird. Berries are my favourite food in the world. Is it raspberries perhaps? Oh, or could it be strawberries? The enormous crocodile laughed so much his teeth rattled together like pennies in a money box. Crocodiles don't eat berries, he said. We eat little boys and girls. And sometimes we eat roly-poly birds as well. Very quickly, the crocodile reached up, snapped his jaws at the roly-poly bird. He just missed the bird, but he managed to catch hold of the long, beautiful feathers in its tail. The roly-poly bird gave a shriek of terror and shot straight up into the air, leaving its tail feathers behind in the enormous crocodile's mouth. At last, the enormous crocodile came out of the other side of the jungle into the sunshine. He could see the town not far away. Ho, ho, he said, talking aloud to himself. Ha, ha, that walk through the jungle has made me hungrier than ever. One child isn't going to be nearly enough for me today. I won't be full up until I've eaten at least Three juicy little children. He started to creep forward towards the town. The enormous crocodile crept over to a place where there were a lot of coconut trees. He knew that children from the town often came here looking for coconuts. The trees were too tall for them to climb, but there were always some coconuts on the ground that had fallen down. The enormous crocodile quickly collected all the coconuts that were lying on the ground. He also gathered together several, several fallen branches. Now, a clever trick number one. He whispered to himself, it won't be long before I am eating the first part of my lunch. He took all the coconut branches and held them between his teeth. He grasped the coconuts in his front paws. Then he stood straight up in the air, balancing himself on his tail. He arranged the branches and the coconut so cleverly that he now looked exactly like a small coconut tree standing among the big coconut trees. Soon, two children came along. They were brother and sister. 
The boy was called Toto. His sister was called Mary. They walked around looking for fallen coconuts. But they couldn't find any because the enormous crocodile had gathered them all up. Oh, look, cried Toto. That tree over there is much smaller than the others and it's full of coconuts. I think I could climb that one quite easily if you help me up the first bit. Toto and Mary ran towards what they thought was the small coconut tree. The enormous crocodile peered through the branches, watching them as they came closer and closer. He licked his lips. He began to dribble with excitement. Suddenly, there was a tremendous whooshing noise. It was Humpy Rumpy the hippopotamus. He came crashing and snorting out of the jungle. His head was down low and he was galloping at a terrific speed. Look out, Toto, shouted Humpy Rumpy. Look out, Mary. That's not a coconut tree. It's the enormous crocodile and he wants to eat you up. Humpy Rumpy charged straight at the enormous crocodile. He caught him with his giant head and sent him tumbling and skidding over the ground. Owie, cried the crocodile. Help, stop. Where am I? Toto and Mary ran back to the town as fast as they could. But crocodiles are tough. It's difficult for even a hippopotamus to hurt them. The enormous crocodile picked himself up and crept towards the place where the children's playground was. Now for clever trick number two. This one is certain to work. There were no children in the playground at that moment. They were all in school. The enormous crocodile found a large piece of wood and placed it in the middle of the playground. Then he lay across the piece of wood and tucked in his feet so that he looked almost exactly like a seesaw. When school was over, the children all came running onto the playground. Oh well, look, they cried, we got a new seesaw. They all crowded round, shouting with excitement. Bags I have the first go, I get on the other end. I want to go first, so do I, so do I. Then a girl who was older than the others said, it's rather a funny knobbly sort of seesaw, isn't it? Do you think it'll be safe to sit on? Of course it will, the others said. It looks strong as anything. The enormous crocodile opened one eye just a tiny bit and watched the children who were crowding around him. Soon he thought, one of them is going to sit on my head. Then I will give a jerk and a snap. And after that, it will be yum, yum, yum. At that moment, there was a flash of brown and something jumped into the playground and hopped on top of the swings. It was Mugglewump, the monkey. Run, Mugglewump, shouted to the children. All of you, run, run, run. That's not a seesaw. It's the enormous crocodile and he wants to eat you up. The children screamed and ran for their lives.